Topic number four, family issues. Teacher, Nubia Colindre. We are going to see family issues as the first part of this video. Issues mean problems, family issues. Family relationships can be loving and fun, but also messy, stressful, and irritating. All of us have strengths, weaknesses, and flaws in the ways that we relate and communicate. During periods of self-isolation when families are spending endless days in close quarters, tensions often increase. If you notice this in your house, it is essential to act early and get support to reduce the risk of any conflict. Some family issues are fatigue which is the extreme tiredness resulting from mental or physical illness. The fatigue means you are very tired. Confinement. It is the state of being kept or restricted within certain limits of space, scope, or time. You feel like in a cage, in a jail or something. Confinement. Breaking the sanitary rules. Those people seem happy, but they are breaking the law. When people fail to observe a law, a regulation, an agreement, but in this case, sanitary rules, they are breaking the sanitary rules. Economic problem, which is defined by the problem of deciding or choosing how to satisfy unlimited ones with limited resources have no money that is an economic problem and also a family issue more family issues are the anxiety anxiety is a feeling of worry or nervousness about something with an uncertain outcome when you don't know what is going to happen if you're anxious this is anxiety hopeless hopeless is an adjective it is when you feel a feeling or causing despair if you're hopeless without hope stress you know that we're also in Spanish is a state of mental or emotional tension resulting from adverse or demanding circumstances when you want to, to do a lot of things at the same time they cause you stress angry angry is also an adjective it is a feeling or showing strong annoyance displeasure hostility so when you are angry you're hostile against everybody So when you see these problems, these family issues, some ways of managing anxieties and worries are watch positive news. Not everybody, everything is negative. Keep busy learning something new. Some people learn how to cook or how to do many different things. Also exercise. This is a good time. You have a lot of time to exercise. Some other ways are laugh and enjoy everything that means smile a lot. Think positive, only positive thoughts in your head. And keep social communications with friends. Now we're going to see the second part of this video this class which is grammar in this case we are going to see adjectives adjectives are words that describe nouns or pronouns 
For example, we live in a beautiful house. Beautiful is the adjective. And in this case, house is an example of a noun. They are happy. They is the pronoun. And then happy is obviously the adjective. We use adjective before nouns and after the verb to be. They don't have plural form. Example, they got new clothes. New is the adjective and the clothes are nouns. So, as we mentioned before, adjective come before noun and after the verb to be. For in this case, Mary is sad. Is, is the form of the verb to be and sad is the adjective. Adjective that describe emotion. Here we are going to remember some adjectives that help us describe emotions like the ones we mentioned at the beginning. For example, happy, bored, ha angry, sorry, hopeful, playful, proud, sad, or scared, those are adjectives that help us describe emotion. In conclusion, all human beings have emotions, they are part of us. During lockdown, besides feeling angry or sad, we can also be happy and creative at home. Enjoy the time with your family, it is a precious time. Thanks.